Hi everyone, it's AngelBlade13, welcome back to my Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix walkthrough. Uh, last episode we took a bit of a detour, going in, taking care of some of the absent silhouettes, and now we're going to continue on with uh, the main story and finish up in the world that never was. As usual, I'll just do a quick uh, equipment and ability check. You got one extra space, so I can put on the fire bangle for one more uh, defense point. And I'm gonna put a uh, bond of flame back on my primary and use uh, two become one on final form. Remember where we are. This is their stronghold. Right! Your Majesty! Be careful. I think we got company. Nominee. There you are. Namine? Kairi, I'm afraid leaving is not an option. I'll take you to see Sora. You don't want that? I do. More than anything. But not with you around. If I had a heart, this would be where I'd die of laughter. You. Didn't Roxas take care of you? You can take it from here, Riku. Riku? So I remember the first time I saw that cutscene when I was 15, um, and I pretty much fell out of my chair because I was so confused at what was happening. Granted, you can say that for a lot of stuff in Kingdom Hearts, but um, that one was uh, particularly one where it got really, really confusing. Um, anyway, the enemy here is uh, the final uh, standard nobody enemy type, the Sorcerer. It won't attack you physically the way most of the other ones do, but it summons these uh, various like energy cubes and it sends them to just uh, attack you in some pretty random patterns. And it, so it's a very good offensive and defensive weapon that can shield a lot of your attacks too. Uh, so when they are trying to at attack you or you know they're about to, you know, set up reflect as always. Um, yeah. A lot of the treasure chests in this area in this world can be somewhat hard to see, so just uh, be careful. And let's try to uh, get some experience for uh, final form here. This is uh, three nobodies, so it's always pretty much going to be that way. So, uh, make use of it when you can. First, I'll stop and check with the Moogle, and I'm gonna buy these weapons for Donald and Goofy. These are the last, like, regular weapons for the two of them. Um, so now, I'm gonna equip the Cosmic Belt I just got. It's gonna increase my overall defense a lot more, and uh, I really don't need particular, uh, like, fire resistance for the time being. Alright, so let's save up. 
then uh, get all your items and equipment ready. And I'm going to switch over to high potions now, just because it kind of seems right now that we're in the final area. So set yourself up however you feel you need. We have a boss fight coming up. Preset your limits, preset your drive form, whatever you need. Sora, you've done well. Where's Kyrie? Who knows? I expect she's catching up with her friend from the darkness. What do you mean? She doesn't need you anymore. I'm supposed to believe that? Well, you don't have to. But you can believe this. Organization 13 has no further use for you. Just look there. Our kingdom hearts. Thanks to you, we've collected countless hearts. Can you hear their euphoria? Now all they need is one more helping from the Keyblade Bearer. But... Kingdom Hearts! Sora! Sora! It's really you! Kyrie! Huh? You leave Sora alone! Sora is completely hopeless without us. Come on, Riku. Well, well. Will the intrusions never end? <laughs> Why, Pete? This castle is perfect. Perhaps we should uh, acquire it. Well, the setup is kind of nice, I guess. But what about all the heartless? Oh, this in-between world, it, it's way too close to the darkness. They ain't gonna listen to us here. Once again, you underestimate me. It's been too long, my friend. Ansem the Wise? Why didn't you come to me before things got so bad? Xemnas, the organization superior, is the nobody of Xehanort, my foremost apprentice. The burden was mine to bear. Is that all? I won't deny there was more. I was obsessed with thoughts of revenge. My apprentices stole everything precious to me. My research and my pride. I can't help you with revenge. I know. Riku's told me a thousand times. Where is he? He must be with his friends by now. 
Riku was a great help to me. I found him wandering the darkness after you and he lost track of each other. Gosh, we didn't lose each other exactly. Riku left, well, because Xehanort's Heartless was still inside his heart troubling him. And he sure must have been suffering. But what I don't understand is why he looks like that now, when he's still Riku at heart. I am to blame. When I met Riku the first time, he still had the appearance of a boy. Probably because he had such a strong heart. I asked him to find a young man named Roxas from Organization 13 and bring him to me. When I told him it would help Sora awaken from his slumber, Riku left without a word. He fought Roxas, and I can only surmise Riku lost that fight. Riku must have realized then, to fight in the realm of darkness, he would have to immerse himself in that same darkness. And when he did, you saw what became of him. When Riku brought Roxas back to me, he was introducing himself as Ansem. If that was what it took to awaken his friend, he was ready to live in darkness. Riku was the victim of my revenge. Oh, how my heart ached. I could only laugh to hide my shame. I guess it must have been after that when I saw Riku again. He said he wanted to help Sora, but he made me promise. Promise that Sora wouldn't ever find out about what happened to him while he was out in the darkness. My friend, the time has come. I must make amends to these young people. been a good boy. Show yourself! Oh, it sounds like you haven't. Sora! Roxas! Roxas? Hey, did he just call me Roxas? You've really put Organization 13 in a pickle. I guess that must be why the Keyblade chose you. But man, did it pick a dud this time. You don't look like you're half the hero the others were. Are you done rambling? Rambling? As if. All I'm trying to tell you, traitor, is that your time is up. Here he comes! Alright, time for a fight with Zigbar. As you can tell from his weapon, he uses a lot of long range attacks. He starts off in the sniper position, just dodge the bullets he fires and use the reaction to bring him down to uh, somewhat of a regular level. Uh, he's going to be shooting different barrages of energy bullets at you. You can use reflect or guard them back at him. After three, he'll take uh, some time to reload his weapon, and usually that's a good time to go in and get some attacks in. Fortunately, he does announce when he's reloading his weapon, which is uh, very nice to us, honestly. Um, there, as you see, he has that cool attack where he uh, puts his guns through some portals and just uh, nearby Sora and shoots him from there. Even once you've done this fight, it can be pretty annoying just uh, with all the random bullets firing everywhere. Hey, 
the one attack he has that he's using is where he shoots the uh, energy bullet that follows you around a bit, and uh, sort of just bounces off the walls, and um, you have that cool reaction to send it back at him a few times. So you can do some decent damage, so you really don't want to uh, take too many hits from that. And he'll just continue uh, warping around the room and using the different uh, energy bullet attacks. Now here's his uh, his DM. Or first he'll just start off um, spinning in a circle and shooting a bunch of energy bullets and dashing around, shooting some barrages. Then he'll head to the center and just do this massive storm of energy bullets everywhere. If you don't have once more equipped and you get hit by the big barrage, you're pretty much screwed. Um, but you can avoid most of it by just, uh, you can avoid all of it by just running in a circle and, uh, just not running into any of the walls, honestly. It's a bit ridiculous that it's that easy to avoid. Um, he's almost done. Let's use the duck flare to finish it. That's a cool finishing picture. Alright, and here I have a bit of a better attempt. Got you now. So this time I'm gonna reflect the initial sniping attack. Kinda wanna make sure I don't let Donald uh, get knocked out. Which can be very hard to do as we've seen throughout this game. And wait till he reloads and then I go in and do some uh, aerial combos and lead into a duck flare. I'm gonna get ready uh, to go into final form. Right, and now it's easier to avoid some of those initial portions of his uh, desperation move. Alright, there I kind of screwed up uh, getting hit, but if you do get hit and you have once more, you know, just kind of don't try to recover and let once more do its job. And he's pretty low, so we're finishing uh, going in with a duck flare. And there we go. A little bit sloppy in the middle, but got it done. Why did you call me Roxas? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Hey, hold on! Sure, it's time! Uh-oh, they need our help! Sora and Rico are together. We have no part to play here. Gee, I wonder if Riku will ever change back. Riku chose that form so he could use the power of darkness. It won't be easy. Kyrie, we're on our way. So, kinda cool seeing Kyrie fighting with a Keyblade. Um, uh, just my uh, customization again. Uh, back to regular enemies for a bit, so I do kinda wanna have Mag uh, Magnara on. And let's do the Magnet at Trinity Limit to build up my drive gauge a good deal again, right off the start. As always, uh, be on the lookout for uh, different puzzle pieces that we can come back and obtain later. Eventually we're going to have um, a couple more abilities that will make uh, collecting them a lot easier. And as I mentioned earlier, in uh, this world some of the chests are somewhat difficult to see. Um, they just blend in with uh, the rest of the environment a lot more than uh, 
in most of the other worlds, I would say. So, just be on the lookout for them. Um, fortunately, I'm pretty positive in saying that, uh, after we finish the tutorial as Roxas, that, um, there's not really any items that are permanently missable, so we can always come back for things later. Uh, so correct me if I'm wrong on that, somebody, but I'm pretty sure we can pick things up later if we need to. Rejoice and feast on these hearts we offer. Shine your pale light on this empty realm. Share your power with all nobodies. Xemnas, is Kingdom Hearts ready? Very soon. Then I can end this charade? Indeed. How I've waited to hear that. Daddy, you are great! Oh? <laughs> you are different, Kyrie, but I'm just glad you're here. You and Riku never came home, so I came looking for you. I'm sorry. This is real. Wait, Ansem! I mean, Xehanort's heartless. I never thought for a second that I'd ever see you again. Just thinking about all the things you did makes me really mad. But... But you saved Kyrie, right? I have to be grateful for that. Thanks. Riku! Don't go! Oh? Kyrie, what did you just say? Riku. I'm no one, just a castaway from the darkness. Sora, come here. Say something to him. Here. You'll understand. Close your eyes. Riku, Riku's here. I looked for you. Come on, Sora. You've got to pull it together. I looked everywhere for you. I didn't want you to find me. But it was him that was helping us, wasn't it? Huh? Those clues we kept finding, that must have been Riku. I was starting to worry you guys weren't ever going to catch on. Sora never did pick the brightest friends. What do you mean by that? Why didn't you let me know you were okay? I told you. I didn't want to be found. Not like this. I couldn't. I fought with Ansem, with Xanort's Heartless. 
when it invaded my heart and I won. But to use the power of darkness, I had to become handsome myself. Does that mean you can't change back? This battle isn't over. And until it is, I still need the power of darkness. Then, let's finish it. You're still Riku, no matter what. So how about it? Think we can handle one last rumble together? The king's waiting. Yeah, let's get going. All right, take your time. Uh, sure, everyone needs to stop crying, but then we'll move on. This spot to do. What's this gadget for? It's a device to reclaim Kingdom Hearts and encode it as data. Not sure I get it. I do not claim to know the outcome of this venture either. After all, hearts are unpredictable. <laughs> Alright, so here we have a pretty cool looking room. Uh, immediately grab that puzzle piece, and uh, that barrier is kind of blocking us, so. First we're going to save up, uh, and we're going to make some adjustments because we actually have two boss fights coming up. Fortunately, we are going to be able to reset and save in between each fight, um, but really just make sure you're set up properly for uh, what's coming up. So. What's that? It's the King and Diz. I mean, Ansem the Wise. They must be higher up. We better hurry. You! I'd rather we just skip the formalities. Alright, so this is a bit of a weird fight uh, against Loopser. Loopser doesn't have a health bar, he has a time gauge. Sora is going to have a time gauge and you still have to worry about his health bar. So, um, Loopser is going to have several of the mini games that like the gambler nobodies had. Um, so if you mess those up, Sora will turn into a die or into a card for a while and he'll lose a decent amount of time. So. Anyway, you're always going to start off by uh, loops of turning you into a die. So just kind of avoid his attacks until you get uh, turned back into regular Sora. Uh, main thing he'll start off doing in this portion is he'll uh, have these cards sort of just floating around that'll attack you. You can use a reaction command like I just did to get rid of them and also just float around and do some weird attacks. Now here he's going to split into several cards and you just sort of got to keep your eye on the correct one and you can use uh, the reaction command on the right one. Um, if you use it on like one of the bombs you take a good deal of damage um, and I believe if you use it on one of the uh, time cards you get time back. Usually I either get Luxord or one of the bombs honestly so I'm not 100% sure on the other one. Um, anyway. He'll usually do that three times uh, before going back to his regular pattern. And then he'll just, um, you know, has the cards uh, flying around just doing their random attacks. Pretty close. And here's uh, Luke Surge DM. First he'll just sort of... Uh, do this barrage of different card attacks, which one easy way to avoid it is just to uh, use a trinity, but you can also just kind of use quick run or some of your other growth abilities to avoid it. Anyway, then he's gonna do this big attack where we have to select the circle in each command menu. 
and went to the last one, and if you mess up, like I just did, uh, you turn into a die, and, um, yeah, I just did that on purpose so you could see what happens when you mess up. Um, anyway, I'll show you here, um, you know what, it's good that you saw what happens that way. I definitely, no, yeah, I messed that up for the first time in, like, probably since I was 15, but, you know, it's okay. We're all good. Run out of time. Okay, here's a better version of the fight. So avoid his initial attacks. Now I'm just gonna do some attacks on him, which will help me uh, turn back uh, to regular Sora a little bit faster. So now just uh, mixing in uh, Reflect with my attacks and timing it a little bit better. So getting those reflects and just doing some standard combos. Now I'm going to be trying to uh, sort of loop him after I um, pick the correct card by uh, using a thunder at the end of my combo. And didn't do the best job there, but... But there we go. Use a guard break into a uh, thunder. Kind of my reflex a bit bad there. You know, we're all good. I'm that right. That thunder was good to interrupt his attack. I didn't get the DM skip here, but um, I'll just... Here I'm just going to use a Trinity Limit to uh, invincible my way through the DM. Now time for the reaction again. Get the circles. And this time doing it right, so take a... Pretty much the rest of his uh, uh, timeout, go into limit form, and just finish him off with a, a strike raid. How could you, Roxas? That Sora! Okay? Yeah, no worries. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Alright, bit of a weird fight, but not too bad. Particularly when you're not on critical mode. But as I mentioned, we've got another boss fight, so save up. Um, if you need to make any adjustments, do it. I'm gonna switch to Blizzard. Um, and I think that's good. Only you could have made it this far in one piece, Roxas. That's really getting old! Different name, same fate. Do you feel it? The moon's power. 
All right, and now we've got our second to last member, Saix. So he's gonna start with um, this Berserk Gauge full, um, which powers up his attacks by a good deal. So eventually you can pick up one of his Claymores that he drops, and uh, similar to the Berserkers, um, when you fight them normally, you can use the uh, Eclipse and Magna Storm to uh, break him out of his uh, Berserk state. Then Sykes is in his normal state. He just has um, some standard uh, Claymore slashes and some charging attacks. He's a good deal easier to deal with uh, at this point. We can uh, guard and reflect most of his attacks a lot better. Fortunately, he does uh, take some time to like just stop attacking us and uh, let his Berserk Gauge fill up. It'll charge uh, naturally most of the time anyway. So this attack, when you're far enough away, you can uh, pretty much just guard the Claymore he throws at you. It's usually a decent idea, at least your first time doing this, you're probably better off just trying to avoid him as much as you can until you can uh, get one of the Claymores for the reaction. Uh, by attacking him while he's in the Berserk state, you can uh, decrease the gauge a bit faster, but um, I suggest holding off on that until you've done this a few times. Uh, you know, avoid the attacks, uh, grab the Claymores. Uh, using the reaction can be a bit frustrating because um, unlike the Berserker enemies, he doesn't uh, get sucked into it immediately when you're near him and he can still do a lot of damage. Um, as always, limits are your friend, so make good use of them. Alright, here's the better version of the fight. Wanna try to move away uh, we really want to keep Donald alive again. So dodge his attacks, uh, grab the Claymore, uh, and uh, get him with the reaction command. And I'm going to get up close, reflect his uh, initial swipe, do a full combo, make sure he lands, and uh, go in with Duck Flare and uh, Aerial Spiral. Getting a ton of damage there. Threw an Aether in between. Alright, taking some damage here, but uh... And here, I'm just gonna do an aerial combo. Wanna do a bit more damage, make sure he lands before going in with the Duck Flare again. Uh, finishing off with Aerial Spiral, going in for the win there. I don't get it. Why has everybody been calling me Roxas? Because, Sora. Roxas is your nobody. My... nobody? But that's crazy. I never turn into a heart... Oh. Right. It was when you came to rescue me. Remember? Xemnas was the one who found Roxas. He could use the Keyblade because he was your nobody. That's why Xemnas brought him into the organization. But Roxas betrayed them. After that, I fought him because I thought it would help you wake up. I lost. But the next time we met, I made sure I was the stronger one.
Why don't you quit? Come on, Sora. I thought you were stronger than that. Huh? Get real. Look which one of us is winning. Uh. So it's true. You really are his nobody. Guess Diz was right after all. What are you talking about? I am me! Nobody else! How many times do I have to beat you? All right. You've left me with no other choice. What? I have to release the power in my heart. The dark power that I've been holding back. Even... if it changes me forever. Accepted it. Diz, he could feel Sora. Oh, he told you how he felt, did he? Ridiculous. And nobody cannot feel anything. If he had met Sora, things might have been different. Maybe I didn't need to fight him after all. I think he left the organization because... He really wanted to meet you. Roxas. I wish I could meet him too. All right, let's go. Alright, so with that, uh, the barrier's clear, and we can move on. Before we do, we can examine each of these sort of plaques with each organization member's uh, weapon on them, and uh, we can see the nickname for all of them, which I think is pretty cool. I'm just gonna go through them. Um, and as you notice, uh, number six, the one for Zexion, the weapon is, like, cracked, so... For a pretty long time, if you had uh, played uh, the original Kingdom Hearts 2, we still had no idea what Zexion's actual weapon was for quite a while, until uh, certain uh, games were remade. We didn't actually get to figure that out. But here we have that nice little boss fight with him, so it's all good. Anyway, let's save and let's uh, continue on, uh, making a couple quick adjustments. Go back to my um, standard enemy setup, and we'll go. Answer? <laughs> I'm a fool. I spent years studying the workings of the heart. Yet it seems I still haven't learned a thing. What do you mean? The process of encoding hearts is incalculable. 
the inhabitants of my twilight town were data created from real hearts. I was convinced that they would think and behave the way I had envisioned, but I couldn't have been more wrong. A heart is so much more than any system. I saw it when Roxas and Kyrie crossed paths. I knew, but I was too stubborn to accept it. It's always the same. I try to wrap my mind around things my heart already knows, only to fail. While I was trying to bring Sora back, I had so many plans in store. But once Sora was an acting force, they fell apart. All my research amounted to nothing compared with that one boy's heart. And some, I'm ashamed! All the more proof that hearts cannot be contained by data. Run, my friend! It's going to self-destruct, and anything could happen. What? Your Majesty! Sora, the rest is up to you. And Roxas, I doubt you can hear me, but I am sorry. Handsome! My heart is telling me what I must do. Please allow me to do what it says. No! Riku! His heart's decided. We can't change that. I was wondering... Who would dare interfere with my kingdom hearts? And look, here you all are. How convenient for me. Ansem the Wise. You look pathetic. Have your love. I deserve as much for failing to see you for the fool you are. Students do take after their teachers. Only a fool would be your apprentice. After all, none of this would have happened without you. You are the source of all, Heartless. It was your research that inspired me to go further than you ever dared. I admit, my disregard brought chaos to more worlds than one. But what were you seeking? You erased me from the world, only to take my name and continue research better left forgotten. Is this the answer you've been looking for? All that and more. I'm carrying on what you yourself began, and I'm creating a brand new world, one heart at a time. I thought you'd praise me, but all you ever do is hold me back. I understand, though. Unlike me, you have a heart, and you're powerless to control it, consumed by the jealousy you feel toward the student who surpassed you. They are not foolish apprentice of a foolish man. You have surpassed nothing, only proved how little we both know. We may profess to know the heart, but its essence is beyond our reach. We're both ignorant, as oblivious as when we began. I'm afraid that any world you try to create, any world of yours, would be an empire of ignorance. That is why you and your creation are destined to fall. We've said enough. Rico, you know what to do. King Mickey, my friend, forgive me. Farewell!
Riku! Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Riku! Wow! wow. Riku! Uh, uh. Ansem did say anything could happen. Riku, you gonna take that off? Oh. What was that? His eyes couldn't lie. Lie? And just who were you trying to fool? Huh? Huh? Myself. Riku, come on, man. Why did you try to do so much on your own? You've got friends, like us. Have you forgotten? I'll tell you why. Because I'm not a total sap like you. Say that again. <laughs> what should we do, Riku? We must defeat Xemnas. He's the organization's last survivor. Right. Come on. And we have our final world party member, our friend Riku. Oh, let's go through his abilities. Um, Dark Aura is by the end of one of Sora's com. If you uh, use a reaction command, you can have Riku continue to attack with some dark energy balls. Dark Shield, also a reaction. When Sora is getting attacked, you can use that to pop a shield up. Riku will jump in, throw this energy barrier up in front of you. Really useful. Cure Potion, effectively just cure. Um, and Eternal Session is his limit, which is one of the coolest ones in the game, I have to say. So as always, um, make sure to take uh, Riku's items um, and maybe save them for later when you're in a boss fight. But, um, fortunately, he has his uh, his pure potion ability, so he's uh, typically pretty good at uh, healing Sora almost immediately when he needs it. So we're pretty close to the end. Uh, you should have a good deal on how to handle uh, all the different enemies at this point. So I still suggest clearing the rooms when you, like every room, just when you go into it. Goofy. Come on. Let's swap Goofy in for a bit. And I'm pretty close to leveling up final form, so I'm going to try to uh, get that before I finish this run. There's two, and it should just be one more. Perfect. And final form's at level two, and we have the auto final form ability. Um, Remember, my opinions on auto abilities, um, typically I prefer to have most of them off, um, but for auto form abilities, they can be very useful, particularly in some of those tough boss fights, uh, because they only activate when you're at very low health, and there it's kind of, um, uh, it can be pretty annoying to just try to select that when you're actually about to, to lose all your health, um, 
And so just being able to just hit triangle and pop into the form to get your full HP and MP recovery is uh, really nice to have on, though. So, I'll let, but of course, you know, make the decisions on how you prefer to play the game. Uh, just my suggestions. Uh, I said on uh, some previous videos that there's really not a right way to play a game. Um, as long as you're, as long having fun should be the most important thing of any game. Um, and so, if you're doing that and uh, you're accomplishing the main goal of the game, then you're doing good. Anyway, when we head through there, we're gonna go into another boss fight. So I'm just gonna run down and come back. I'm um, just uh, speeding through in wisdom form. And let me just take a quick look. And we got all the treasures for uh, the world that never was. So we really just have a section in uh, Hollow Bastion, which is now Radiant Garden. Uh, so we'll have some treasure chests to pick up there in a little bit. There's gonna be no end to this. Together we can stop them. Hmm. Be gone from here. Leave these creatures to us. But there's no way we could take them all. I will be sending them after Xemnas. Or perhaps you would rather fight them yourself. Frankly, my dear, I'd rather run! Off with you, then. Well, if it ain't the boat boy king. Time to weigh anchor, Captain Pete. What, like abandoned ship? I don't think so. Sora, your majesty, do not forget. When I've destroyed them all, this castle shall be mine. Now look here. Opportunities like this don't come along every day, you know. Bring them on! We gotta hurry. But... They're doing what their hearts command. We can't interfere. All right, we'll just take a quick trip up the stairs here. Oh, my kingdom hearts. Ruined. No. I'll have to start all over again. Warriors of the Keyblade, go forth. And bring me more hearts. No! Denizens of Light, answer this. Why do you hate the darkness? Ha, huh, we don't hate it. It's just kinda... scary. But the world's made of light and darkness. You can't have one without the other. Cause darkness is half of everything. Sort of makes you wonder why we are scared of the dark. It's because of who's lurking inside it. Then allow me another question. You accept darkness, yet choose to live in the light. So why is it that you loathe us who teeter on the edge of nothing? We who were turned away by both light and dark. Never given a choice. That's simple. It's because you mess up our world. That may be. However, what other choice might we have had? Just give it a rest. You're nobodies. You don't even exist. You're not sad about anything. <laughs> Very good. You don't miss a thing. 
I cannot feel sorrow. No matter what misery befalls the worlds, no matter what you think, what you feel, or how you exist. Guys! So here we are against the leader of Organization 13, Zemnis Xehanort's Nobody. All those, uh, names about him. Anyway, he's gonna start off by just, uh, teleporting up to Sora and, uh, placing this sort of curse on him. It'll slowly drain your health. Go up to the building and you want to use the reaction command, which goes into this long animation. And we're going to get three different options. Um, if you do Clash, uh, Xemnas just sort of passes by you without either of you really doing anything to each other. Um, so now he'll have uh, typically one of two attacks. One is just uh, two slashes with his effectively lightsabers. Let's be real. Um, no, I'm sorry. They're ethereal blades. Um, the other is uh, he'll just get up close and just throw an energy barrier right in your face. And he just has this, like, really cool, creepy walk. He's like... I don't know, Xemnas is, like, honestly one of my favorite uh, villains of all time, really. <laughs> just, um... The attacks he does, um... Just his, his voice is just so creepy and, like, mysterious at the same time. It's... Alright, and now he's doing his DM, which is just, um... A very long... Uh, combo attack with his ethereal blades. And I'm doing the pretty good damage to him, actually, so. Going with the Trinity Limit. And with this, uh, it looks like we're gonna skip the second building phase, which is uh, pretty nice. And here's the better version of the fight. As soon as it starts, I'm just gonna uh, start off with a combo. Um, maybe one out of five times, I don't end up getting that off right away. So getting some good damage right at the start before he even uh, goes to the building. This time, when I use the reaction command, I'm gonna wait till the third option. So the timing can be pretty tight with it, so uh, you really have to be ready. One, two, three. And now with this one, we're gonna do a ton of damage to him. And look at his health bar already. So do some combos, uh, finish with some thunder. Uh, I messed up uh, attack there. Now he's already doing his uh, DM. Going with uh, some more combos for a bit. Oh, got clipped by his DM, so uh, dodge a bit, go into a Trinity Limit. Timing here is a bit tight, too. Uh, go into an attack, into a uh, Limit form, and finish him off with an R's. Zemnis. What? Hear me, Kingdom Hearts. It seems we must begin anew. Ah, 
But know this, I will give to you as many hearts as it takes. Mark my words, you can no more be complete without me than I without you. Heed me, Kingdom Hearts. Lend me your power so that we may be complete. The power to erase the fools that hinder us. Jonas, no! Hearts quivering with hatred. Zemnus, don't! Hearts burning with rage. You never win! Hearts scarred by envy. That fool Ansem said the heart's true nature was beyond his understanding. But it's not beyond mine. Hearts are the source of all power. Zemnus, you can't hide from us! We're not gonna let him get away now! Look at that! What's going on? Kingdom Hearts! Let's go. Zemnus must be inside. The worlds gave us this doorway. They want us to be the guardians of their destiny. Mm. Once we go through, there's no turning back. It's victory or oblivion. So, Sora, are you ready? Well, of course it wasn't going to be that easy. Um, anyway, once we go through that door, we go into the final boss fights. Um, the little final portion of the game, as it says, this is the last time we get to really adjust anything. Choosing let's end this, we'll go through and start dealing with the fights. You won't be able to leave or change anything once you go through there. But, we're gonna have to call it an end for now, so, uh, I'm gonna make a couple quick changes, um, because this one's a bit more about, uh, saving Riku, um, we're gonna put uh, Oblivion on Sora's mane, and we're gonna put Bond of Flame back on final form for the fire boost damage. Um, the other two are pretty good as they are. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, share with a friend, leave a comment, all the good stuff. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode where we finish the game. Bye.